dear students continuing with our lecture series on uh, multiple choice question problems this is our third lecture uh, based on mcq on organic reaction mechanism and uh, as you have uh, seen in the previous two lectures here also we will have uh, five problems and we will try to find out uh, that what is the product out of the uh, four choices uh, which have been given for each reaction and uh, then uh, we will uh, show that how that product has been formed in these uh, problems so the first among these problems is uh, the reaction of uh, n-benzoyl hydrazones uh, in presence of uh, lead tetraestate that uh, what kind of uh, product is formed here we are using O18 in case of benzoyl and during the reaction uh, this O18 oxygen goes to which part of the molecule it needs to be understood uh, through the product formation under these conditions so out of these four choices what will be the product and where this O18 will go in the product then second question is uh, in case of 1,4-oxathiene uh, carboxamides uh, when uh, these uh, carboxamides uh, they are reacted under ACD conditions at 80 degrees centigrade that means when uh, these types of carboxamides they are reflexed in acetonitrile in presence of HCl what is uh, the product formed out of these four reactions whether uh, we get uh, cyanides or carboxylic acids or ketones as the product this is to be seen that how uh, out of these four one product is formed and by which mechanism that product is formed then third is uh, in these types of organic nitro compounds when they are reacted with uh, NaNO2 in acetic acid followed by reaction uh, with 10% HCl under SD conditions uh, the product is formed in 95% amount and out of these four which product is formed and by which mechanism this product formation takes place then uh, in case of azides uh, when they are reacted under acidic conditions uh, for example in presence of trifluoroacetic acid and dichloromethane as solvent when these uh, azides they are reacted and uh, after evaporation of the solvent in the second step when they are treated with the sodium iodide in acetone as a solvent what will be the product formed uh, during this uh, reaction then uh, these types of uh, lactone ethers uh, when they are reacted with uh, trimethyl slyl amide uh, in presence of N and diethyl aniline uh, at 200 degrees centigrade, the product is formed in 81% amount. And uh, we are to identify that out of these four, uh, which product is formed and what is the mechanism of formation of uh, that. So, as far as answer to these five problems is concerned, in case of first question answer is B, second is C, third is C, fourth is D and fifth is A. And now we will see one by one that uh, how this choice comes and what is the mechanism of formation of these products. For example, in the first case uh, where we are using and benzoyl hydrazones as the substrate on reaction with lead tetraestate what happens is uh, the lone pair present on the uh, on this nitrogen in the and benzoyl uh, hydrazone uh, reacts with lead tetraestate with the removal of 
uh, H from here and acetate ion from here, a molecule of uh, acetic acid is removed and this uh, lateral acetate will get attached to the nitrogen and H from here is removed and we will get this type of intermediate and uh, then shifting of this pi uh, electrons of the carbon carbon double bond to form a nitrogen nitrogen double bond and one of the acetate group uh, as a nucleophile gets attached to this carbon uh, because this carbon will become electrophilic due to the movement of this uh, carbon carbon double bond electron and we will get uh, this type of intermediate and then uh, on oxygen we know there are two lone pair of uh, electrons present and uh, this will act as a nucleophile and attack this carbon with the removal of uh, acetate ion from here and cyclization will take place wherein uh, you can see this oxygen will have a positive charge and then this acetate ion which has been removed uh, will get attached to this carbon which will become electrophilic because positive charge on oxygen is uh, uh, not very stable and this uh, will lead to the movement of this uh, pair of electrons towards oxygen to neutralize the positive charge. So acetate ion will get attached to this carbon and we will have uh, a cyclic structure like this. Then in the next step, uh, the uh, phenolic uh, hydroxyl group will attack this carbon because of the presence of two lone pair on the no this oxygen and uh, acetate ion from here and H, ion, uh, H positive from here uh, will be removed as acetic acid and a cyclization will take place at these places to give us this type of intermediate with uh, ring expansion reaction so a seven membered ring will be formed which will undergo uh, rearrangement of uh, pi electrons in such a way that a molecule of nitrogen is removed from the reaction mixture and we will get uh, this type of uh, epoxide ring form uh, which will further undergo rearrangement to give us uh, these types of ortho uh, acyl uh, benzophenones as the product where uh, O18 oxygen will uh, get attached to this acetate. So this is how we will get uh, B uh, choice as the product in this case. Then in the second uh, problem 1,4 oxathiones uh, carboxamides uh, when they are reacted under acidic conditions uh, this H positive will uh, get attached to this carbonyl where oxygen is uh, electronegative in nature and because of this uh, this carbon will become electrophilic and uh, water as a nucleophile will uh, attack this carbon and movement of electron will lead to the formation of this type of intermediate where this oxygen is having positive charge H, ion, H positive will be shifted uh, from uh, this place to uh, this oxygen to this oxygen uh, there is a equilibrium between uh, these two structures and uh, then uh, the breaking of this carbon carbon bond to neutralize the positive charge so movement of electrons will take place like this with the breaking of this bond so we will have this type of uh, intermediate structure which will undergo double ketonization uh, at this place and we will get uh, diketone uh, intermediate uh, formed like this and this will lose uh, proton from here which will be shifted from here uh, to the uh, one of the keto groups at this place and then rotation of this carbon sulfur bond will take place and this uh, nitrogen will undergo cyclization to give us uh, these types of 
intermediates and here again uh, shifting of the proton uh, will take place and we will get uh, these types of intermediate uh, thiazine uh, derivatives uh, where uh, the halogen will remove this hydrogen uh, with the neutralization uh, of uh, this carbon carbon double bond by removal of water molecule from there. So HCl from here and water from here will be removed and we will get 1, 4, thiazine, 3 ohms as the product in this reaction which is our choice C. Then in the third problem, the uh, alkyl nitro or organic nitro compounds, uh, because of the presence of uh, this nitro group, uh, these alpha hydrogens, they are very acidic and they can undergo 1,3 hydrogen shift like this. So this will be, uh, there will be an equilibrium between these two structures uh, because of the presence of uh, positively charged nitrogen this hydrogen can shift from this carbon to this oxygen and we can have this type of structure and uh, this uh, will react with uh, nitronium ion uh, which is formed uh, from the NaNO2 like this uh, and this nitronium ion uh, will react with the nitro compound to give us these types of uh, nitroso derivatives and these uh, nitroso intermediates uh, then uh, again this proton present at the alpha carbon is uh, an acidic proton because of the presence of this uh, positively charged nitrogen and this will shift from this carbon to this oxygen and these types of uh, oxime intermediates they are formed uh, then uh, this will lose uh, proton from here to give us these types of intermediates and uh, these intermediates with the loss of uh, this uh, nit uh, nitrite ion uh, will give us uh, these uh, carbon nitrogen uh, triple bonded uh, intermediates and then uh, reorientation of uh, this group remove uh, will again uh, give us uh, these types of uh, oxime derivatives and these will undergo hydrolysis to give us uh, carboxylic acids as the product. So this is how the nitro compounds they are converted into carboxylic acids and choice is C in this case. Then uh, fourth is uh, the reaction of uh, azides uh, basically uh, this reaction is uh, an intramolecular uh, Schmidt reaction so uh, here because of the presence of two methoxy groups as we know there are two lone pairs present on uh, this uh, oxygen so uh, the acidic conditions uh, will undergo interaction between this methoxy group and uh, the acid uh, proton and we will have this type of uh, intermediate formed and this intermediate uh, will lead to the removal of one molecule of methanol from the molecule and we will get uh, this type of intermediate azide intermediate where this oxygen is having positive charge which is not a very stable situation because uh, uh, oxygen being an electroreactive element, uh, the positive charge is not stable, so that is why uh, this uh, negatively charged nitrogen attacks this carbon which is electropositive because of the presence of positive charge on this oxygen, this uh, pi bonded electrons, they will be attracted towards oxygen and uh, cyclization will lead to the formation of and a new six membered ring like this and then uh, movement of uh, these uh, pi electrons uh, lead to the removal of one molecule of nitrogen from this place and we will get uh, a ring expansion reaction six membered ring will be converted into a seven membered ring and this six membered ring will be converted into a five membered ring 
and then uh, this uh, pair of electrons will lead to the reorientation and we will get these types of uh, cyclic amides as the product which is our choice D and this is an example of intramolecular Schmidt reaction. Then uh, these types of allyl ethers uh, having a, a ester group so that is lactone group in a cyclic manner present in the substrate. Uh, they will undergo first uh, three three sigma tropic uh, rearrangement that is chelation rearrangement will take place in the first step at the ortho position and uh, we will have these types of intermediates they are formed and these will undergo enolization to give us these types of cyclic structures then this will undergo rotation carbon-carbon uh, single bond rotation and uh, this carbon-carbon terminal bond will interact with the uh, para position uh, of this uh, benzene ring and we will uh, get this type of uh, carbonyl form vinylic carbonyl which will abstract proton from the acid uh, formed by uh, uh, addition of proton to the base uh, in the first step and we will get these types of uh, structures which will undergo uh, proton shift uh, from here to complete the uh, aromatization of the molecule to give us these types of products uh, through abnormal chelation rearrangement which is our uh, choice A in this compound. So basically here this substrate uh, does not give us uh, a normal chelation rearrangement product but an abnormal chelation rearrangement product is formed uh, where uh, we will uh, see that there are two three three sigma topic rearrangements taken. So, thank you very much.